Hello guys, welcome to Ankit Sunil. Today I today I'm going to talk about side effects of IVF. Every coin has two sides and remember this today I'm talking about, about only one side which is the side effects of IVF. So the side effect number one of in vitro fertilization IVF is that uh, it causes ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome when lots of chemicals and hormones are given to a female to stimulate ovaries to release an egg or which we call as ovum. Uh, that can cause this syndrome. In this syndrome, mild side effects are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. But if there is a serious side effect which causes ascites, there is means there is water fluid inside the abdomen or pleural effusion in which there is water in the lungs that, that has a very serious side effects. Uh, then the side effect number two is when we inject a needle inside a woman to take uh, to pick up the ovum that has that can cause uh, minor bleeding or infection at, that causes pain then under anesthesia when these are implanted in, inside the uterus that by mistake it can be implanted into the fallopian tube or the tube of the uterus which uh, can result into uh, ectopic pregnancy which itself is a very serious complication then the other side effect is generally one two to three uh, Fertilized embryos are kept inside the uterus which can which results into twins or triplets or which we call as multiple pregnancy. In US there have been one study done which found out uh, that around 20% of twins or around 25% of triplets are due to in vitro fertilization. When there are multiple births it causes lot of complications. It makes a woman prone for hypertensive disorder, for gestation diabetes, uh, for uh, antepartum hemorrhage for uh, for your low birth weight babies for congenital anomalies another complication is miscarriage or abortion can happen around 15 to 25 percent of the these IVF pregnancies there is a multiple birth there are high chances there will be preterm labor and low birth weight babies and these low birth weight babies and preterm uh, labor itself is one of the major cause of uh, neonatal deaths or infants that where the babies die early there are few studies which have been done which have uh, related uh, cancer with this uh, IVF because of a lot of hormones and a lot of artificial things which are being done uh, to uh, inside a woman's body. Uh, but there have been not a strong proof regarding cancer being associated with this but yeah there is association of cancer and IVF. Like as a woman or a couple undergoes uh, this IVF and they go for repeated hospital visit it causes a lot of stress. Number one is economical stress because uh, these IVFs are very very costly procedures. If it succeeds in first attempt, well and good. They have to go multiple visits also. Uh, for, they have to try many times, uh, first, second, third, and time, and then they conceive. And it's called kind of a very precious pregnancies because they can, they cannot take much chance because they invest a lot into this, and it causes a lot of stress, mental trauma. If there is a miscarriage, then again mental trauma. Uh, so you can just weigh the pros and benefit and then go for it and adoption is always a good option which I, which I would suggest and for whatever I, side effects I spoke you can look at the description box to see all the um, uh, scientific evidence related to it. Thank you guys.